Okay, so I've spoken way too much about blockchain and DAOs lately. So let's discuss uh, drilling on Mars, like underground Mars colonies, and also asteroid mining with M drives. Okay, so Elon Musk has got us to Mars. It's pretty cheap. We can get a lot of people up there. But how do we build the structures so people can live up there? So we can actually start building a colony, like a large scale colony for a million people. Well, we can't transport all of our housing and structures up there. That would just be, uh, yeah, just not economically feasible. Um, you would have to transport way too much tonnage. It'd take too much fuel. The other option is inflatable structures. So they recently inflated a module on the International Space Station. They're testing that out. But like you guys have seen Total Recall, yeah, where they break out the structure and their eyeballs explode. Well, the other one I've seen is 3D printed structures. So you would somehow use the sands on Mars as some type of like concrete thing. It would collect all that up, put some goop in it, and then just print out the structures all time. But I think the one that makes the most sense is just complete underground colonies um, with drills, with autonomous, you know, massive, large-scale drills, essentially the same way they build subway systems. And yet I haven't come across any NASA project or any space project or any company or just anyone trying to experiment or develop that technology, and we'll need that very, very soon, like within a decade. But yeah, if you go look up some videos of how the drills uh, make the underground tunnels, at the moment the subways, they're huge, so I don't know how we'd be able to transport, we wouldn't be able to transport that size drill to Mars. We need some type of technology where you can just deploy a very small drill and it just autonomously, maybe piece by piece, just drills out a, a very large area and doesn't need much maintenance. But that'd be ideal, yeah. Imagine if SpaceX sent up a few autonomous space uh, kind of drills and they found the right area to drill and they just autonomously drilled out an area, almost like 3D printing, the way you do CAD models. But instead of submitting a CAD model for like layer by layer and the, and the 3D printer just does it, you kind of send a, a schematic for the drill structures and drill sites and, and what dimensions it just does it. Okay, so clearly think of this in the fly. So the, oh, shit. Um, the, uh, the big drills that make the, the tunnels and the subway systems are usually like one massive circular drill. What we'd instead need is a whole bunch of m really, really small drills, almost like, like, I don't know, maybe the size of this. <laughs> and then have thousands of those uh, deploy into an area and just drill deep down to the depth that you require and then just start autonomously drilling it out. And other, other robots would excavate that material the other issue too is that drills have a lot of moving parts and they tend to have a massive amount of wear and tear. Um, so how do you maintain that? Yeah, I, mean, I mean, you want these things to last for a long time and get a lot of drilling. But imagine how awesome that would be if the first colonists that arrived there didn't have to live in these shitty little inflatable houses or shitty little like um, uh, little modules that have landed, but the whole underground city. Like vast, vast underground city, like kilometers in, in diameter sort of thing, um, with all these compartmentalized sections and like in, basically ready to build awesome you still have exit points to the surface. I mean, we'd still be doing a lot of surface-based exploration. Um, that's the whole, you know, we're not going to just leave us holes on the, on the Mars. But I think it's a, it's, it's a kind of safe, easy way to make it. So that idea is pretty damn cool. Um, now I can actually segue this into asteroid mining. So why don't we use those same type of drills, that same technology to mine asteroids inside? I guess the most concept videos I've seen with asteroid mining and it's like a bunch of groups like Planetary Resources and all these other asteroid mining companies. Uh, most of the concept videos I've seen kind of like surface-based mining. But surely in space, it doesn't make much sense to be mining the surfaces of asteroids because you don't have a whole lot of gravity and you'd just be kicking up a bunch of dust and dirt and debris, which would be messing up all of your robotics. So we can apply this exact same drilling technology for a Mars colony uh, to asteroids. And actually, you know, you just drill inside the, inside the asteroid and you mine from the inside out, so you get no debris. A common idea with asteroid mining as well is going out and finding nearby asteroids and re repositioning their path, like basically strapping rockets onto them and bringing them into like a moon or a Mars orbit. Now you may have heard a bit about the M-Drive lately. The M-Drive is like this, this weird kind of like rocket that doesn't use any fuel. It uses electromagnetic uh, crazy magic to create thrust. And if that, if that M-Drive is, is theoretically possible and doable and we end up with one, then that's huge because the, the biggest issue with rockets is that you need a lot of fuel to get them up to a certain speed. So with an M-Drive, you just strap a nuclear reactor to it, create electricity, and use that for thrust. Um, and one of the ideas is that with that, we could actually get to Mars in about 70 days. The hilarious thing at the moment is no one knows how the M-Drive works, and yet all of these independent uh, researchers have been verifying the exact same results that thrust is actually generated. The latest explanation I've seen for why the M-Drive works and doesn't break any laws of physics is that two photons become paired up, they escape the fuel cavity, and that velocity causes thrust. But they actually cancel each other out, so there's no signature. Anywho, so imagine uh, if we want to mine asteroids, all we do is we send out a whole bunch of probes that are attached, have M drives attached to them. They go out and find the nearby asteroid and lock onto them. Those drones can then autonomously guide asteroids back towards Earth and into like a, a moon or a Mars orbit to be mined. Um, and the thrust is really small, so it would happen very gradually. And actually, just while thinking about this, um, I thought that what you could actually do with those same M drive technology, with the same drones going out and collecting asteroids, is you could use that to terraform Mars. Let me explain. 
So the best idea so far for like terraforming Mars is we basically need to melt the ice caps. And so there's been ideas of, you know, nuke the shit out of the ice caps or create like pulsar neutron stars above them. <laughs> okay, so here's a much more feasible and more likely and easier way to terraform Mars. Uh, have those autonomous drones go out, collect a whole bunch of uh, asteroids with our M drivers attached to them, bring them back into Mars orbit, and then literally just smash those asteroids into the Martian ice caps, causing them to melt, causing CO2 to release in the atmosphere, creates an atmosphere, terraforms Mars. Then as a bonus, like once everything cools down, you'll have all this nickel and platinum and all these minerals and stuff that are found inside asteroids directly on the Martian surface that's easy to access and mine. That's pretty damn cool. The funny thing is, all these ideas are kind of very brutish, like smashing asteroids into Mars and drilling through Mars. Um, you know, it would be much more beautiful and elegant if, and, and civilized if we created nanobots and terraformed in a beautiful yeah, I think I really like this plan because it seems more feasible and seems more accessible. Um, M drives are almost happening. I think we'll have a, a working prototype of that soon. And all we need is just uh, autonomous dr uh, drills that operate as a swarm. Bam, a workable strategy to create an underground Mars colony where a million people can live uh, very autonomously, very easily, and also a strategy to terraform Mars. Awesome, snap your thoughts, I future.